Hello and welcome to today's uh, session. So today uh, we are going to discuss on P-channel JFT. Whereas in the last section you all have seen uh, the working of the N-channel JFT, its uh, characteristic graph, output characteristic graph, uh, and uh, transfer characteristic graph. So now we will see the construction of a P-channel JFT. So the construction of P-channel JFT is similar to your N-channel JFT. The only difference is that the main substrate or the main material that we are going to use as a base is here it is a P material, P type material. On P type material we are going to define, uh, we are going to diffuse the N type material. So these are your N type materials which are diffused on the P type. So like N channel JFT this also has uh, the three terminals. So this we call it as a source and this is drain and this is gate. So these two terminals here are shorted together and form a single gate channel. So that I have not shown so that you can assume it. So now this the current flows from source to drain. So now here uh, you all know that the JFET we call it as a unipolar junction transistor. So let me write that here. So that we call it as unipolar junction transistor because there is only one type of charge carriers which are used in the moment of current that is here only the holes will move from source to drain that is why it is called as unipolar whereas in n-channel only electrons will move from source to drain and that moment is controlled by our uh, gate so now if you see the potential that is connected to these terminals are so source to drain we connect the negative potential in this case whereas in the N channel we have connected the positive potential with respect to drain. So this is the connection. So this is the negative polarity and this is positive. So this is nothing but your VDS. So now for the P channel JFT your VDS is a negative voltage whereas the gate is the positive voltage. We say this now it is a positive voltage now this is our VGS so initially let us consider this VGS is equal to 0 volts and we all know when we diffuse this so there is a layer that is formed so this layer we call it as a depletion region so that is uniform at the initial point when VDS is equal to 0 so as we increase the VDS now in this case it is a negative voltage as we increase the negative voltage of VDS so what happens so there is a increase in the depletion region on both sides of this N type material and near to drain the width of the depletion region is more because near drain it acts like reverse bias and near source it acts like a forward bias. So here the width of the depletion region is less and near the drain the width of the depletion region is more. So thereby there is an increase in the current as the voltage increases the current also increases and at some point these two depletion region will come in contact and that point we call it as the pinch off point or the pinch off voltage point so if i write the graph here uh, it's a small graph so if i write the graph as we increase the vds current also increases and that pinch off so what happens the current becomes saturated or it becomes constant so this is your id here and this is your vds and now in this case what happens this is negative voltage so minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on it will continue and this point where it becomes saturated so that point we call it as vp now this is nothing but so vp is equal to vds at this saturation point so it is in this case the vp is equal to negative value or negative voltage so and this point uh, where it becomes saturated, the current we call it as IDSS, source to drain saturation current. So likewise, when we increase the gate voltage, next time we will make the uh, we will make the gate voltage as one volt. So what happens? The transistor will get saturated to lesser value of the uh, drain current. Likewise, this process will continue, and at some point when VGS is too large, the JFT will not at all turn on. So this is for your VGS say this is equal to 1 volts and this is for say VGS is equal to 2 volts and so on. And this whatever we get the zero current so this we call it as VGS off. Okay. So at which point or for which uh, gate voltage that 
drain current is zero. So what are the graph you see here? This graph we call it as an output characteristic graph. So now let us write this. Let me save this graph and uh, page five. Let me take new one. So let us write uh, this graph with the transfer characteristic graph. So if you see the transfer characteristic graph, so like this, so both lines, actually we have splitted the lines, otherwise it is a single line. So this y axis is called uh, drain current ID and the positive x-axis is nothing but your VDS and negative x-axis is your gate voltage, so VGS. So here the polarities are different. So x-axis on the right side is a negative polarity because the VDS is negative voltage. And whereas on the left side it is positive voltage. So now we have seen this output characteristic graph. So the output characteristic graph looks like this. The current starts increasing as you increase the VDS and at some point it gets saturated. So the first point which you get this saturation, we call it as VP. So this point we call it as VP. It is negative. And now likewise, this is your saturation or this point if you plot it like this. And this for different values of gate current, you will get it. So we'll mark it that gate current, so it might be here, it might be here. So when you plot the graph, you may get like this. So the left side of the graph, we call it as the transfer characteristic graph. On the right side of the graph, we call it as the output characteristic graph. So this is about uh, the uh, P-channel JFET. So let us quickly revise. So in P-channel JFET, uh, the current, uh, the channel is the P-type and the charge which flows is the holes. So that is flows from source to drain and the VDS voltage that we apply is a negative voltage and gate voltage is positive voltage. And uh, the output characteristic graph you have seen, it is similar to N-channel, only difference is that the X-axis is of negative voltage and the Y-axis remains to be same, it's a current. And uh, the transfer characteristic graph, if you see, on uh, the left side, the VGS axis is positive voltage. And in the similar way, we can plot the transfer characteristic graph. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, in the next session, we will see the MOSFETs, the construction of MOSFET and uh, the working of MOSFETs. So, thank you.